Hi everybody, this is John Oliver. Many of you will know me from the science history tours where I've been a frequent participant and sometimes photographer. Another member of our group, Mark Roebuck, and I have collaborated on a project which we hope you will find both useful and somewhat informative as you prepare for our upcoming trip to Italy. What we'd like to show you is an interactive map of this year's trip using the free web-based Google Maps utility and which is also viewable on the Google Earth application. If this is the first time you're seeing this, you have undoubtedly arrived here from an email link. That email has both a link to this video and one to the map itself. And by the way, if while exploring the map you want to hear the instructions again, we've included this video on the map so it will always be there if you need it. And if you run into problems or have questions, Mark and I are just an email away with the answer. So let's get started. To begin, we click on the link in the email. A browser will launch and you'll be in Google Maps looking at a map of Italy. This is the default view, the way the page should look when it opens in your computer. Now Google Maps is a complex and powerful piece of software. If you wonder how to do something or what a particular command or button does, I recommend clicking on Help in the upper right corner of the page, which will take you to the Google Maps Help page and then to the Maps User Guide, which should have what you're looking for. If I'd like to move around on the map, there are several sort of obvious ways to do that. I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to scroll left, right, up, and down. You'll have to try this to believe it, but you can even move diagonally by holding down two keys. Left and up together move you northwest, for example. Or you may be more comfortable using the mouse to navigate. A very direct way to move your view on the screen is to click someplace on the map and while holding down the mouse button, drag the map in any direction you like. And one more method to move around the map is to use the navigation tools which will always be found in the upper left corner of any Google map. You'll see a button with arrows pointing in the four cardinal directions and a hand in the middle. Clicking on one of the arrows will move your view in that direction. And if you get carried away and move the map too much, Clicking on the hand will take you back to where you started. On the keyboard, the plus and minus keys take you closer or farther away from points on the map. And don't bother with the shift key, just touching the plus or minus does the job. If you have a scrolling function on your mouse, that controls the zoom. I have a wheel on mine and I can roll forward and back taking me in and out of the map. Very convenient. Another mouse trick is to double click anywhere on the map. You'll zoom in one level and the map will recenter itself on the place where you clicked. Finally there's the sliding zoom tool which you've probably spotted on the left side of the map. I find that I don't use it much to zoom, but the position of the slider is helpful to get a sense of where you are within the range of views available. At one extreme, you're so far away you might as well be on the moon. And at the other, you may find yourself standing on the ground looking at a street level view, and that can be very interesting as we'll see in another tutorial video. Anything to do with that. <laughs> yes, mother.